If your vision keeps getting worse every year and your glasses prescriptions keep going up, stop right now. These three powerful tricks can actually help reverse the root causes. And no, they're not mainstream. You've never been told this because there's no money in fixing eyesight naturally. So stick with me because I'll show you what to do daily to support your vision before it's too late. Now, I'm not an ophthalmologist or optometrist. This is educational, not medical advice. But here's what I see no pun intended, most conventional treatment for vision loss is actually treating the symptoms, glasses, contacts, surgery. But what if you could support your eye, your vision health at a deeper level? Well, there's emerging human research showing you you can do it with these three powerful ways. Let's start with the first tip. This is gonna be red light recharging. This one might surprise you, but shining a specific red wavelength light into your eyes can actually improve vision. It actually challenges the assumption that all light is harmful or neutral. You see, some light can actually be restorative at the cell level within your eyes. Let's look at some human research here. A study done from UCL exposed 20 participants to three minutes of 670 nanometers of deep red light between 8 and 9 a.m. in the morning. They measured color contrast three hours later, and in a subgroup, one week later. On average, they saw a 17% improvement in color contrast vision. Some participants, especially the older ones, had 20% improvement lasting a week. The researchers interpret this as red light. This is called photobiomodulation stimulating mitochondrial energy production within the retinal cells. Yes, you have mitochondria within those eye cells. Essentially, this red light recharges them. Now, more studies are done, and this was a small sample size, but it's worth the shot to give this a try. It's important to note that this study showed improvements only when the red light exposure was in the morning between 8 and 9 a.m. Afternoon exposure, for whatever reason, did not produce the same result. So here's how you implement it daily. Find yourself a red light device. Not any cheap one on Amazon. It needs to be 670 nanometers or above. And the one I use is from a company called Bon Charge. You could get that one by going over to bonchargecom slash keto camp. You get 15% off. I'll drop that link down below. And you want to use it in the morning, ideally between 8 and 9 a.m. because that's what the study saw. And you want to expose your eyes, keep them open with a relaxed gaze for three minutes. That's it. Use it consistently every morning, and over time, track changes in your contrast sensitivity, your clarity, or your vision metrics. Now, don't overdo it with the intensity or the duration. Personally, I would stand about 15 inches away from the red light lamp and do it for just three minutes, not longer than that, because actually excessive red light exposure could actually be damaging. So there's a Goldilocks effect here. Now, if you have a, any retinal diseases like macular degeneration, retinitis, or others, it's important to speak with your ophthalmologist before doing something like this. The second powerful tip is optimized blinking with tear film management. Now, this tip is less flashy, but more proven in humans. It tackles a frequently overlooked root cause. Poor tear film, dry eye, and optic irregularities due to blinking inefficiency. A recent study done on humans titled The Impact of Optimized Blinking on Vision and Related Parameters had a case group that performed blinking exercises, and they found significant improvements in visual acuity, and many participants even halted the progression of myopia versus a control group with no significant changes. The researchers attribute this improvement largely to stabilizing the tear film. You see, a bad tear film causes irregularities in the optical surface, which then degrades image quality. By improving blink function, you improve the uniformity of that tear layer. In other words, to put it simple, part of what you see as blurriness might be a thin or inconsistent tear film, not just from the lens or corneal refractive error. So here's a daily practice you can adopt. Number one, blink consciously. Every few minutes, especially when doing screens, like your computer screens, pause and blink fully three to five times. Number two, the blink exercise routine. Close eyes gently, pause for one second, open. Squeeze eyelids shut for two seconds, and then open. Repeat 10 to 20 such blinks in a row, morning, afternoon, and evening. 
Number three, you could do something called a lid massage. Gently massage eyelid margins, upper and lower, to stimulate the oil glands, promoting better tear oil secretion. Number four, hydration and a humidifier. Keep ambient humidity moderately high and drink water, high quality spring water, because you see dry air exacerbates tear evaporation. So if you live in a dry climate, you might want to purchase a humidifier. If you live in Florida, which is a very humid climate, you probably don't need to do that. Now here are some tips and cautions. Don't overuse strong eye drops or ones that irritate. Stick with ones that are compatible with sensitive eyes. Monitor for improvements in clarity, changes in how dry or scratchy your vision feels, or if your acuity stabilizes. You see, many vision issues are worsened by an unstable tear film. Optimized blinking can strengthen tear film uniformity, reduce optical aberrations, and has been shown in human studies to improve visual acuity and slow refractive progression. Tip number three, the eye nutrient trinity. There are certain nutrients proven in human literature to preserve and improve vision. The most solid human data we have isn't from gadgets, it's from nutrition. Here are the nutrients repeatedly proven in clinical trials to protect and even enhance visual performance. Number one, lutein and zeaxanthin. They're called the macular shields. A trial from 2013 had 4,000 participants. And what they did is they added 10 milligrams of lutein and two milligrams of zeaxanthin daily. And it was shown to reduce progression of AMD, advanced AMD, which is age-related macular degeneration versus the placebo group. Other human trials like nutrients in 2017 showed increased macular pigment density, increased contrast sensitivity, and glare recovery in healthy adults. A 2019 randomized controlled trial found faster visual processing with supplementation of lutein and zeaxanthine. So how do you use it? I would recommend 10 milligrams of lutein every day, two milligrams of zeaxanthine every day. You could also find these nutrients in eggs with the yolk. Now, if you're gonna take it in a supplement form, I recommend taking it with a fatty meal or even with olive oil or an avocado for better absorption. And I'll drop a link for the lutein and zeaxanthine supplements that I've recommended in the past in the notes down below. But it's important to understand that these carotenoids literally form the yellow filter protecting your retina from blue light and oxidative stress. The second power nutrient here are EPA and DHA. These are omega fatty acids. You see, DHA makes up about 60% of the photoreceptor membranes. This is essential for signal transmission and visual clarity. Now, I do not recommend getting your EPA and DHA from a fish oil supplement. Those could be inflammatory. They're usually rancid. I'm just not a fan of fish oil. What I do suggest is eating wild-caught, small, fatty fish to get your EPA and DHA. And all you need to do is eat this twice per week to get enough of these benefits. So that's gonna be the SMASH acronym. Any of these fish that's wild-caught, eaten twice a week, will get you these benefits. The SMASH acronym is the following. Sardines, mackerel, anchovies, salmon, and herring. Any of those five are going to be beneficial. The third power ingredients are zinc, vitamins C and E, and copper. This is called the antioxidant defense system. A 2001 human trial showed a combination of vitamin C, 500 milligrams, vitamin E, 400 international units, and zinc, 80 milligrams of zinc oxide, and copper, two milligrams of copper oxide, showed a 25% reduced risk of advanced AMD over five years. You see, these antioxidants neutralize oxidative stress from light exposure and preserve retinal integrity. Now, I actually found a product that I have all of my students use with vision problems or somebody who just wants to be proactive and support their eye health. And this is called Light Body Total Eye Shield. It contains all of the ingredients I mentioned and a lot more. Their research is phenomenal and they're getting some great clinical trials and they're seeing some great results with this product. And I'll drop a link for it down below. It's called Light Body Total Eye Shield and I'll drop that link down below. You could also get a lot of these nutrients from like vitamin C from bell peppers, berries, citrus fruits. You can get vitamin E from nuts, avocados, seeds, and you could get zinc from food from oysters, grass-fed beef, and pumpkin seeds. 
Now, there are two bonus nutrients proven through research to actually support eye health as well. We have astaxanthin, about 6 to 12 milligrams per day. This has been shown to improve accommodation and reduces eye fatigue from screens, according to several human studies. And then we have bilberry extract, around 160 milligrams per day. Some trials show better night vision and less visual strain. And I'll drop links for the astaxanthin and the bilberry extract that I would recommend in the notes down below. Now, I'm gonna address the questions you submitted on this topic. Before I do, I wanna give you a free resource here on how to lose 10 pounds of fat in seven days. You see, I want you to look down at your belly right now. If you've tried cutting carbs, counting calories, skipping meals, and nothing's working, I've got news for you. It's not your fault. You've been lied to about fat loss, but I'm handing you the truth. The exact seven-day blueprint to lose 10 pounds of pure fat fast. No crash diets, no gym, no tracking. Just a simple step-by-step -step plan for flipping your fat-burning switch. It'll help you balance your hormones and finally feel lean, sharp, and in control again. It's 100% free. Click the first link in the description box below to download it right now. Or if you're watching on YouTube, grab your cell phone and scan the QR code on the screen before this disappears. You've tried their way. Now try this today and get the changes you want. Now let's get to your questions. Can I use any Regular red light th therapy panel for eyes, or does it have to be specifically 670 nanometers or above? It needs to be a high quality red light panel, not any cheap panel on Amazon. It won't get you these benefits according to some of the research. So again, I use the one from Bond Charge. It's a little panel and you can get it over at bondcharge.com slash keto camp and you can see a 15% coupon code on that page. Can excessive screen time completely undo the benefits of the blinking routine? I wouldn't say it'll completely undo the benefits, but if you are behind a computer screen and artificial lights for hours every single day, you probably wanna do what I do and wear blue light blocking glasses, these yellow glasses I'm wearing. These are not prescription, my vision is perfect. I wear them to filter out the blue light that's all around me. And these ones that I have here are from a company called Viva Rays. And I'll drop a link in a coupon code if you wanna get the Viva Rays. Uh, Bond Charge, the same company that produces the red light panels, also has some great blue light blocking glasses as well. That's bondcharge.com slash keto camp. If I'm under 40 and don't have macular degeneration, do these nutrients still help my eyesight? Yeah, everything I shared here today, if you don't have an active vision problem, can be something you do that's proactive. I always say, it's so much better to be proactive and reactive so you could still apply what you learned today. Can I combine all three, red light, blinking exercises, and supplements in one morning, or should I space them out during the day? Hey, if you wanna combine them all in the morning, go for it. If it's easy to just knock it, get it out of the way, go for it, I'm all for that. Hope this is valuable. Let's get your vision back to 2020, perfect vision. Apply what you've learned. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And hey, if you love this lesson, you're gonna to wanna to learn about a previous lesson I just posted on why I believe you gotta stop drinking these five coffees. They're actually quietly destroying your health and your gut and your hormones. So here's a clip from that lesson. Click the video on the screen and I'll see you in that next video. Most people think the danger is in having too much caffeine. Wrong. The danger could be in the beans themselves. Up to 97% of coffee beans on the market today are heavily sprayed with pesticides. Many contain glyphosate, yeah, the same ingredient found in Roundup, weed killer, which